Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I do apologize that I haven't done a video in quite some time. I've been planning my upcoming wedding which is August 29th so I've been really really busy with that so I'm very sorry. But I do have a massive Sephora haul for all you lovelies out there. Um, I did go down to Sephora when they had their grand opening on July the 24th. I went down not once but twice. Once with my cousin, second time with my mother. And if you're a beauty insider and you spend over $25 you get makeup bags and I got a lot of them let's just say I just gave them away to my sister and my daughter and that but I did keep these two for when I travel because they're beautiful and I do love stripes just have an obsession with them so I got a lot of this I haven't used any of it yet but I did take a lot of it out of the boxes because I didn't want to make it it is long but I do want to make it longer you get the point so I did buy the Kat Von D eye contouring palette and I do love her colors because they're all matte shades they are so beautiful they're just gorgeous I said thank you Kat Von D when I picked it up thank you very much I know I sound like a crazy person but that's okay <laughs> and okay oops where did oh boy oh I was like, where did my contouring palette go? <laughs> and I did buy the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, which is so beautiful. The Stila Palette, folks, that I bought, that I did my mini haul, my first video on, I did use it where I'm so, so pale. It went on and went off. and I mean, it is nice, but just not for me I just rather get a powder contouring palette to work with and so I did I did buy the Sephora Pro ha who you do anyhow people it's in the red box I can't pronounce it I just sound like a fool but that's okay <laughs> Do forgive me. It's a beautiful, beautiful brush. I cannot wait to use it with the contour palette. They are going to be beautiful. And I'm going to enjoy them. And they're just so pretty. I did buy a couple of lipsticks by Kat Von D. My goal is that I will have all of her matte lipsticks. That's my goal. That's pretty bad. <laughs> I did buy Love. And it's this beautiful purple. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's right there. And they just, oh, they're so yummy. So vanilla, let's say. And I did get underage red. That's so pretty too. And that's right there. It is beautiful. Can't wait to wear that. And once again, they smell really good. And I did get Bachelor... Uh, I can't even say the word. I always get tongue-tied when I try to say it. Bachelor... I'm not even going to say it, people, because I sound like a fool. Anyhow. Bachelor... <laughs> Look, I can't... I really cannot honestly say that word. I don't know why. But it's their pinky red, and it's right there. Bachelor, bachelor. Okay, anyways, you get the drift that I can't say the word, but that's okay. And I did buy the makeup eraser. Can't wait to try. Just go and gone. Beautiful. I seen it. I was like, whoo! I need you. It was right up by the checkout, and they sold out within the hour of those. It was like total mayhem there. Total, total mayhem. I did buy the black clay pod um, eyeliner by Tarte and I did buy the beautiful brush to go with it because I do have one already um, I do like these because I find when you're doing your winged liner it's so much easier to control I did have the Smashbox one which I totally totally loved and ran out of it until it was all dried up and there was no more so Got those two beautiful 
beautiful things in my life now. I did buy the Tartlet um, Tarte eyeshadow palette and they're all matte shades as well. I have an obsession now with matte shade eyeshadows. Um, sorry for the glare. It's very pretty. And I did buy the brush. It's a double-ended eyeshadow brush and I can't get it out of the box. I've been, you know what? Before I started to film this, I really honestly try to get this out of the box. And there it goes. <laughs> but look at this. Isn't this pretty? This is this is so nice. I love it. I can't wait to get into it to use it. So I did buy that to go with that eyeshadow palette. So I wanted to get the Makeup Forever High Definition Foundation. And of course, the lightest shade they had there was sold out. Out of all the colors they had, that one was gone first. And I was so, oh, come on, please, please, you gotta have it in back stock. But they didn't, they were absolutely sold out. So, the makeup artist that they had there from Montreal, who's doing the training, he matched me up with the Marc Jacobs. And I got number 10 Ivory Light, and it's really nice. I love these pumps. So, I'm really hoping that it will go great with me. And I did buy the brush um, that he recommended. It's called the Pro Flawless Airbrush, and it's number 56. And that is just stunning. Totally, totally beautiful. And I did buy the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, this skinny brow. Am I correct on that? I must be because I can't find the box. Oh, here it is. Yeah, skinny brow pencil. Oh, sorry, the wrong end. That's your little spoolie. Then on the other end you have that, and I got it in their darkest shade. And I did buy, I'm a little bit embarrassed to say this, but I did buy the little cheat sheets, if you want to call it that, cheat, cheat sheets for your eyebrow because as I said in my other video, this eyebrow has a mind of its own. This one, I have no problem doing. But this one, just like, doesn't matter what day of the week. Just, no. So I did buy that to help me out to control it a bit. And I also bought the Bite uh, Lip Mask. And I got it in natural. They also had it in a colored one there. And in a maple one, maple syrup or maple. Uh, but I got the natural. I can't wait to use this because where I wear so many matte lipsticks, I really wanted to use this really, really badly because where my lips crack and all that bad stuff, that this will change my life forever. And I did buy the Makeup Forever Lip Liner in 10C. And it's this pretty... I already got it swatched here for you, right there. And that there was the Anastasia Beverly Hill Skinny Brow. So that's it there. And I also got some eye masks. And I have one for my face. I've heard a lot of great things about these beautiful little masks. So I said, you know what? I need you. Come home with me. And that's it. I know I talked really, really fast through it all, but I did get it all in there. So I'm hoping to have another video up hopefully next week because I am waiting on a beautiful product. If you follow me on my Instagram, you'll be like, hey, she don't have her hair extensions in because I glued them in there last week and I bought the brand Sassy from Sally's when I went to wash them. Whew, they smelled like they were burning. I thought there was something burning in my house because the smell was so bad, but it was the hair extension. So I had to soak my hair and take it all out. I do buy a lot of hair extensions. Um, so I thought to myself, you know what? Why am I spending all this money on these hair extensions? Why don't you just go buy yourself some Bellamy hair extensions. And guess what I did? I bought 
Bellamy hair extensions. I got 240 gram Magnificent. I can't even remember because I ordered them a few days ago. Um, and I got them in jet black. And I also bought the um, hair candy conditioner leave-in treatment to keep them nice and fresh. So that will be my next video on how I like them compared to all of the other brands that I have bought and all the other brands that I have here in my house that once I get these ones, I probably won't use those ones anymore. And I did get them in the 24 inch, but I am going to get them cut because I think that's gonna to be too long for me. And I really, really can't wait to use them for my wedding, which is August 29th. I will post some pictures and videos of all that and uh, on my Instagram as well. So yeah, so I'm just gonna stop rambling here, but I hope you enjoyed my haul. Until next time, all you lovely people, I will see you again. Love you. Bye. I can't turn it off. <laughs> Bye.